G'day everyone, welcome back to the channel. Lee here, Gold Shift Garage. Today we're gonna to be looking at the Black Commodore from the barn find video. She's arrived, got dropped off this morning. So uh, first time it's left that little place in eight years. So let's go out and have a look. Righto, here we go. Dropped off by the tow truck today. It's actually not bad, like, it's gonna need a decent clean. It hasn't seen a bucket of soapy water for, you know, eight years. Walk around. Looks like a bit of a bit of the clear coat there starting to rub off. We might be able to fix that. All in all, it's actually in pretty good condition. Pretty good condition. Let's have a look at the inside. Surprisingly, it doesn't stink. But like all the carpet's pretty good. Like it doesn't have a transmission in it. So that's the reason why I got it so cheap. Everything else, everything else is there. So a few spider webs. Sure is a few spider webs. We'll have a look at the back. Might actually air this out. Right oh. With a bit of a clean though. With a bit of a clean, there's there's the old drive shaft down there. Oh yeah, nice bottle of water for me. Sweet. Tomorrow we're going to clean this up. The hood lining is actually still together. Well, I'll be. I'll be. Okay, round to the front. All right, eh? Spiders love it. Here we go. So, Alloy Tech V6. Home to a shit ton of spiders. Leaves. Mouse shit. <laughs> Gotta love the mouse shit, hey? All in all, doesn't look that bad. So, we'll give this a bit of a spruce up tomorrow, but. There's your plate. So VZ. Build March 05. There you go. Right oh. Round onto this side. Like the rims aren't too bad. They haven't been beaten up against all the curbs, so oh yeah. Spoke too soon, didn't I? Hey, look at that. Oh, I don't. Badging's there, complete with spider webs. We'll have a look in through the passenger. Look, the interior's not that bad. Considering, oh, look what I've spotted up there. Hello, mate. Frog. So it's going to need a bit of work. A bit of work, but we've got a couple of years to do it. Around to this side. Now, ah, what's in the old... Oh, yeah, nuts and bolts. Maybe for the transmission. Maybe. Complete with spoons, of course. Milky Way wrapper, <laughs> sweet. Oh, there you go. Car scent, no wonder it doesn't stink. There we go. Not a bad little overview. All right. So if you're a 15 year old boy, not a bad car, right? Eh? Not bad, you've got a couple of years until you get your peas. You know, that's actually, wasn't like my first car, LC Tirana four door, progressed to a LJ Tirana two door, LX SS Tirana, most regretful sale of my entire life. So, but this is where you gotta start as a young kid. So we're gonna fix her up. We're not gonna turn it into a street machine or anything like that, but 
I do have some plans when he graduates from that car to another one to maybe supercharge that and put it in something small, maybe like a Gemini wagon, something, something different. So like a supercharged V6 EH wagon maybe. That'd be sweet. So we'll see. All right, let's break out the suds and give her a wash. Righto, we've given that a good soaking just with degreaser. A little shit in there. A few spiders went for a run too <laughs> up around here. So, give the rest of the car a wash. Wash these covers up. Then we'll get the gurney on it and we'll see how we went. But, I think it's going to need a clay bar. It's pretty rough. Alright, we'll get into it. Righto, let's go and have a look at it um, after its first wash in eight years. Actually, you know, it needs a couple more baths, but it didn't come up too bad. Like, honestly, for a $200 car, that's it. 200 bucks actually goes all right. Let's have a look. Righto, let's have a closer look. There's a few spiders that were uh, pretty annoyed at me here too, you know. But it actually came up pretty tidy and all I did was give it a hit with degreaser but you know it hasn't done much work this car at all it's just sat in the sun basically that's all pretty tidy got rid of all the leaves all the shit that's been built up sitting in here so not bad all right we'll go and have a look at those covers Because they actually come up all right. Come up nice and clean. So just with this body, we're just going to rub it back with a clay bar. So I might do that tomorrow. See, there's a film. I don't know if you can get that, but you might be able to hear it. There's like a film over the top of this paint. So we'll hit that with a clay bar. 
see where that can come up. I did like a little test patch just there. I don't know if you can see that. Um, also here, just on the windscreen, uh, the back window. Just gave it a little test to see what would happen. And yeah, it come up pretty good. All right, we'll hit that tomorrow. Righto, I've just finished the passenger side with the clay bar. It's actually come up pretty good. Pretty good. So I'll walk around the front here. So a bit of elbow grease gets off all that dirt and grime. And I've actually only done like half the car. So I've done this side of the bonnet, all the way up the passenger side to the back of the boot. But I'm um, pretty happy with that. Pretty happy with that at all. Like three hours, pretty good. I'll show you the products I've been using too. So not a paid promo, but it did work. So let's have a look at that. Right, oh, let's have a look. So here's the here's the boot. You can see a distinctive line all out the windscreen, all the way over the boot, boot lid. Spoiler. Even down here. So here's a product. That's what I've been using. Meguiar's smooth surface clay bars. So pretty good. Like it's done a fantastic job on this vehicle. Recommend it. Recommend it. All right, now we've got this side to do. You can definitely see the difference, like looking back. You can definitely see the difference. So, another three hours on this for me.
Righto, this is everything we got out of there. So, as you can see, the back seat, we got the drive shaft there. Uh, all those bolts, I believe, would be for that drive shaft to go back together. This is all the interior we need to put it back together. But we'll have a look. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. Like, for something that's been sitting eight years, you know, it's pretty tidy. I'm curious to see what's in that boot, too. So, I haven't opened her up yet down to the front pretty tidy pretty tidy for a car that's just been sitting and once we get the transmission in we can sort that uh, console area out but let's have a look let's just pull this latch here all right that's for the boot let's go and check that out that I am interested in I haven't looked in this yet I'm curious to see what we got in there Ah, oh. oh, well that's a letdown. No hidden treasures, no spiders, no snake nests. <laughs> snake nest. There you go. Not much real exciting there. Except uh, the old struts don't want to stay up. We'll have to rectify that, I think, with a big stick. Ah, oh, yeah, we can replace. We can replace them struts there. Easy done, easy done. Righto. Let's get stuck into this cleaning. We've had a couple of good hours on this uh, cleaning the interior, getting everything out of there. So it's actually come up better than expected for a $200 car. So um, like this carpet is pretty much immaculate. Like it's ridiculously clean. Um, yeah, tomorrow we'll hit it with some product. Uh, interior cleaner by Meguiar's. We'll give that a go. Um, should come up pretty good, I reckon. I'll see you then. Righto, I'll show you this uh, interior cleaner we're going to be using. There you go, Meguiar's Interior Detailer Cleaner. So we'll give that a go. We'll get into all this dash. All the center console. Let's get into it. Righto, I'll leave a link to Meguiar's website uh, down in the details. Jump on, have a browse through their catalogue. Fantastic range they have. Uh, they have snow cannons too, which look like a lot of fun. So, uh, yeah, I'll put that in the description below. Cheers. All right, I reckon I've figured out a way we can start, well, not start the car, but we'll introduce some power to it. Hopefully it doesn't burn down. But I'll show you what I've done. I've just rigged up a battery with some uh, jumper leads. We'll see if this works. Righto, let's have a look here. So, just a, a large battery, like it's too big to fit into this cavity. So I just got the jumper leads out, and we'll attach them to this. Let's hook this one on. Alright, let's go and see if we've got some power. Let's have a look at this. See if it works, anyway. Alright. Keys in. Let's have a look at the dash. See if we can, oh yeah, look, there's power. Well, <laughs> holy shit. Give it a check, it's not burning, eh? Let's have a look over here. Right, eh? no smoke. Nothing sizzling or anything like that, which is always good. Like, obviously, obviously it's not going to start. And now it's... Telling me there's no fuel in it. Needs a service, it's also saying. But it's saying it's in park, so that's a good thing. So there might be a chance if I can put some relays in this, we might actually be able to get it to start.
Very good. Happy with that. All right, we proved it's not going to burn to the ground, which is a good thing. So uh, I'm surprised it, it actually powered up straight away. Like, it even 225,000 K, this thing's got on it. So, um, yeah, it's actually not too bad for a 2005 model. Pretty good, I reckon. So I'm just going to check these relays. I reckon there's a lot missing. But we'll have a look. Come and have a look. Right, oh, no, let's have a look at these relays. One-handed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's a shit ton missing. So, what if we actually put it this way? That's the way that they're all sitting. So, all your 15, 10, 20 amp fuses are there. We'll have to check those. A lot of your relays are all gone though. Um, fuel pump relay, level ride relay is there. The front fog lamp relay. I don't know if you guys can see that. But yeah, there's quite a few missing along there. So high beams, fans, the start relay, uh, engine control module, engine cooling fan one, engine cooling fan two, um, horn, air compressor for the air conditioning, and engine cooling. Oh no, low beam, you idiot. There you go. So there's a bit there, but not too bad. Alright guys, that's it for me on this one. This will just be a uh, part one of this Commodore build. The second part will be the install of the tranny. We'll get all the electrics up and running, get this thing firing up and get it registered roadworthy. That'll be awesome. So thanks for tuning in. Have a great weekend. See you later.